Today I'm going to show you how to make this awesome superhero using this great site called Hero Machine. Let's get started. Type in Hero Machine and we'll select 3.0. Select the first link. Upon the web page loading, um, you're going to need to select standard male load or standard female load. For today I'm going to choose standard male load. You'll notice that we have a couple different view options. We have the full view on the body, close up, and then the full screen. Also the grid, which can also be done on the close up. You can toggle those features, those views on or off. You have load, save, print, clear, undo, and export. Taking a look at this other menu down here, which is like the most important part, you have items, which are all your features, ranging from backplane, which is like your wings, uh, facial hair, gloves, shoulder patterns, nose, and you have sub-menus within each of those as well. You have color, you have a prime color, second color, line, line color. You could copy paint, color all the skin, color all the hair. Um, which is pretty nice features. Over transform you can take um, and adjust the layers to bring one item on top of another. You also you can adjust the size of something, rotate them and move. Um, you can apply it to all the items, the hair, the head, or a variety of features. And patterns, you can overlay patterns over the top of colors to give a really customized look to your uh, person, character, or creature. I'll be creating a fairly generic superhero today, but you, it really is uh, limitless possibilities. And you can also create a, um, a free account, as you notice right here, where it says log in. To get started, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, X out the hair and the ears, because we want this particular guy um, to look really cool. So let's give him a mask. Select a mask here. Head. And your face. All right, I found the particular face I wanted. It was under head and male standard. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, delete the features I do not want here because I just want the mask. I want a very blank looking face. So all you have to do to remove the features is select the item and then select X. So here we go. A very generic sort of head. And there we're going to go down to um, body and find the body we're looking for was under body and then male alternate. And I'm going to select, there was an ice looking sort of body here. Here we have our ice looking suit. Now I'm just going to uh, change his feet up a little bit to make it a little bit more simplified. And his hands, we'll do a simple sort of glove like this. Now let's go in and add some wings to him. Now the wings took a little while to figure out where they were. They're under the back plane option. Select wings. I'm going to do a nice kind of generic sort of wing. Now let's get into the coloring of this figure and color them in. 
So we'll select color and said color all skin and we'll select here and then the prime color we'll do here and that's nice. We'll select his body here and we'll select the color, prime color here, second color here. Same with the fist, prime color, second color. You notice you have to select each item to change it. go and lastly the foot and here we've created our feature our creature excuse me and now when we're all done you select export Not save export. You can salute. You can choose if you just want the whole character, the headshot. Um, I'm going to choose JPEG and get a nice high resolution. Click export, and you are done.